Hello, my friends. So I get to be a pirate today. I do searches on witch or witchcraft or Wicca and Wiccan, and I see what comes up. So I did a search and this video came up. It was titled Devils, Real Witches and Witchcraft. And so I watched the video for a little while and well, let me let me just show you the video because I think that it's one of these videos that really speaks for itself. So let's see. Let's take a look right in here at what our beam of light is going back and forth, coming from the top of the screen. What it's striking on the head of. Here it is right here, standing on the other side of the little girl's feet. Peekaboo. Spooky. Isn't it? Traveling through to another dimension, a dimension of not only paranoia and delusion, but of idiocy. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of pure ignorance. Your next stop, the Batshit Crazy Zone. <laughs> Now this particular video that this person is commenting on is called The Flying Girl of Russia and I'll put a link down below. So I'm going to show you the video itself. Tarzan! Apur! And now come to me! Ко мне, Тарзан! Ко мне, я говорю! Тарзан! Тарзан, я сказал, ко мне! Тарзан, ко мне! Что это? Тихо, тихо, Тарзан! Тарзан, тихо, тихо, Тарзан! Боже мой, что это было? Let's take a look right in here at what our beam of light is going back and forth, coming from the top of the screen. What it's striking on the head of. Here it is right here, standing on the other side of the little girl's feet. Peekaboo. Spooky. Isn't it? What am I watching? I mean... I really don't even have to comment on this video. I can just show this video to you. ...around it accurately, and you could actually do this frame by frame with this little thing here that is wandering back and forth. All you did was just draw a little gray man in there. There he goes again, and you can literally see the legs on it as it's walking. I think that's actually when you see the actual video footage, it's either one of the branches of the bush that's sticking up and now the camera is getting closer to these two individuals but it's still at a certain distance so that something close up seems a little blurry and what is out in the foreground in the in the background is in focus or it could be after the person took this video into After Effects to take out the person who was holding a rope up to elevate this child, it could be that ghost effect from them editing the person out. The leggies going back and forth, the leggies that are sort of apparition-like and come into and out of somewhere, you can see the legs on the thing moving like it's a it's an apparition walking through the woods why would an apparition have to walk through the woods couldn't a disembodied spirit just kind of float and do whatever it wants it would not have it would not have to walk going back and forth now let me ask you this does this look like the head of something with a couple of little arms coming down and holding the little girl. Wait a second, hold that thought. That might not be a good enough shot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, what more can you see in this video? 
This video has absolutely nothing to do with witches or witchcraft or Wicca or anything. It has to do with you seeing images in forest backgrounds. That's all it is. By the way, none of this is photoshopped. This comes directly from the original clips, the way they were. You mean you did not photoshop anything or you did not take anything into After Effects. You don't even need to because anybody could show you anything and you'd be able to see anything into it. Wait a second, right down here, here's my little thing with the two little leggies. That's its plump little rear end right there. Plump little rear end? What exactly are you seeing in this video? Now let's go back to our pooch, Tarzan that went uh, berserk in the imagery. So here's our dog here, looking, he's dead staring something that way. Boom, he goes that direction. We're gonna stop him right there in just a second, right where he stops and looks at something. And then he's gonna change his mind and go that way real quick. Now let's see what he was looking at. Okay, so here's our dog and here's where he stopped. Now I'd like you to look right here between my fingers those look like two eyes to you and a nose and a mouth right there looking down at the dog now when i enhance the color and here's our dog right here just about where he's going to stop look this way and then look that way and take off this direction let me ask you this right in front of that dog where he's running do these look like the two eyes of a large cat right here, particularly when the color is enhanced. Come on, you are got to be kidding me. What else are you going to see in all of these bizarre images? And by the way, I would encourage you to look at the original footage and go frame by frame so you can actually see this thing here, turn and look at the pooch before he takes off that way. So if you outline around it, this thing here sort of comes out as if it were a head. It's a strange artifact in the footage, no doubt. But more than that, looking right in its forehead, does that look like a face inside of the forehead coming out right there? And by the way, I, I would ask you to stop this clip at, at any point. Go through the footage yourself. Now, because I just happened to be wearing this eye patch when I was watching this video, I noticed a certain effect, and you can actually reproduce this at home. If you just cover up your one eye, okay, bear with me, bear with me, okay, just bear with me, and if you kind of just squint a little bit, and you look right about here, right there you see you see that that's waldo okay i found waldo it's like playing where's waldo with these unusual anomalies that look very much like human faces and demons and other things that are right inside embedded in the footage itself and seem to look this way and that so here is another face within the face. And you'll find another face inside of that, along with this one and this one and this one and this one. Now watch this. So here's our, uh, here's our unusual little stream of light with the uh, uh, running man made out of beams, beams of light here. This is kind of a fun one. Okay, see the position he's in here. Now these little frames have been one by one. Here you go, let's look at the next one. Uh-oh, there he is there again. So there's my head now. Now I want you to now I'm gonna zoom in on this. Tell me, tell me if you see a hand with fingers. Right there. This is almost too easy. I'm so glad I came across this video. I mean, it has absolutely nothing to do with witches or witchcraft, but what this guy is giving me is gold. Someone just 
just a little bit more. Now, now I am correct that that apparition, if I move the clip one, one click this way, that it's not there in this clip in the same angle. So he's right here, and then several clips later, there he is right there, looking at you. And you can either view this as the two little eyes, or you can view this as the little head looking this direction where you got the mouth and the nose, little eye right there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if you're ever taking your dog out for a walk, don't forget to bring your camera because you just might see a girl floating. And if you don't have a camera, nobody's going to believe you. Thank you and blessed be.